So to begin, we're going to start in a G chord, and you may notice that I'm in a low G, but the tabs on the screen are the high G tabs, and I'm using those since that's the more common tuning. And the difference between the easy version of low G and high G is very minimal. There's just a couple different notes. So if you follow along, if you're in a low G and you're using the low G tabs, but you're using this tutorial, it'll still play through just fine. So to begin, we're going to start in that G chord. So index on the second fret of the C, ring finger on the third fret of the E, and middle finger on the second fret of the A. And you're going to leave it there and just pick the A string, which has the second fret right now. All right, then we're going to strum the chord. And together, this, these first few measures will sound like this. So to play that part, we're again just in that G chord we've already picked and strum. We're going to leave the chord there and pick the third fret of the E. And then we're going to lift the middle finger off the fretboard, but leave the index and the ring finger on. And we're going to strum this. It's a D sus2. I'm going to put the middle finger back and pick once. And then the next th section we're about to hit is going to be three chords in a row. So we're going to start out in an A minor, which is just the middle finger on the second fret of the G. We're going to come back into our G chord position, but we're just going to pick the top three strings. So that'll be open G, second fret of C, and third fret of the E. And then simply the open C and E. And then the next part will sound like this. Alright, and then that's where the first difference would come in if you were in a low G, because then you just pick the open G string along with it. But just using what's on the screen for now, we're going to pick that G string or the C string on the second fret twice. Then you're going to go into your G chord shape again. Your index is there and so just add the ring finger to the third fret of E and miss middle finger to the second fret of A. And we're going to pick the third fret of E by itself strum the top three strings, and now we get to hit that A string. So just by itself at the moment, and then the full chord. So those first few notes right there. After that, we're going to hit a D chord, and so that's just going to be the second fret of the G string, C string, and E string. And you can do this one of three ways. You can use your middle ring and pinky, which is what I believe I use in the video. You can also use index, middle, and ring. Or you can also do a bar and arc your finger up so as to still fret the second fret of E, but reveal the open A. Either one is fine, but moving on from that chord, we're going to pick the third fret of E yet again. And you might be asking, can I hit the open G string? And that's totally fine. If you're in a high G, you can swap out those third frets of E for the open G string if that's easier. Moving into the next uh, bar, we're going to go back into a G chord yet again and strum once. And I'll play the first this first measure so you can hear how it sounds. So essentially, it's the same as measure two. So again, that's just the G chord, third fret of E, lift the middle finger off and strum, second fret of the A, then the three chords, A minor, G, but minus the A string, 
and then open strings, but not the A. And then coming into the second fret of C with the index finger, we're going to pick that twice leading into the next measure. Then ring finger to the third fret of E, pick that once. Then by doing that, you've already made the chord, the D sus2 that you need to go into. So just strum that once. Middle finger comes down to the second fret A. D chord. And then back into the G chord shape and just those top three strings. Putting together everything we've learned so far in this video, starting from the very beginning, will sound like this.